Welcome back to the channel guys Right, we're out in the Steg um, Car's running fantastic Absolutely fantastic It's a lovely day today um, I'm going to give a car run over to Matthews in uh, North Yorkshire you, you must have seen bangers and cash on TV um, I'm going to go over there and see what cars they've got So nice to get out in the classic car. <clears throat> oh yes. Car start. I haven't had the car going for about a fortnight now. And it just starts on the button. Boom. She's away. Right. Oh, I love the sound of this car. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so this is just to give the car a nice, uh, a nice run out. Uh, just free all the brakes up because um, where I live in it, obviously ne live near the sea, and the sea air um, attacks the car terribly, um, like your brake discs. Um, this having chrome bumper bars. I'm a bit worried about that, so what I may do for the winter is put a coat of oil on the bumper bars. That should keep the rust away. Just see, she goes in the overdrive nicely. So I'm hoping we're going to have a mild uh, winter because I don't have miss driving this car. Yes, we're all going over the moors. Um, if you guys haven't been to North Yorkshire, get yourself over. Because the roads are nice and free. I finished work early this morning. Um, it's what, 10 to 1 in the afternoon now. And it's great to get the car out because there's nothing on the roads. Legs now, got great oil pressure. Um, I know these cars have got, uh, you know, they have a bad rep for engine failure and blah blah blah. But I'll be honest with you guys, I've had this car now uh, seven months, I think, and it's driving fantastically. Obviously, I've sorted a couple of little issues it's had electronic ignition for one, sorted that out. Cleaned all the plugs up, sorted the um, the mixture, and now she runs fantastically. Start on the button. There's no whining coming from the diff. Uh, there's no rot on the car. So yeah, six months update. First time I had a Triumph Stag. I'm pretty impressed with the car for, since it was made in 1972. You know, she's, um, she can keep up with modern traffic quite easily. In fact, I wish the modern traffic would drive a bit faster. It's just getting in my way. But if you don't be scared, guys, and I know you, there's a lot of horror stories with the Triumph Stag, but you've just got to buy the right one. If you're going to look for a car, anything under £10,000, you're going to be buying trouble. But if that's what you want, go out and get it. Um, these these cars are um, a good... If I was selling this, I'd want about 16000 for it. Um, because I know the car's sorted. All you need to do is get in the car and go to a nice classic car show. But um, you know, if you're if you buy one of these under ten thousand, you just buy in trouble. Um, I 
actually saw an episode of Bangers and Cash that pulled a white one out of a shed. Engine seized, wants a full refurb, and he went for 10 grand. Fucking hell. And then you'd have to spend about 10 grand on it. So there's 20 grand for your squeal. So why not just go out and buy a sorted Triumph stag? You know? This area is beautiful for driving around in. Obviously, you know what I think of cities. Awful places. I don't know how people live in cities. Jesus Christ. Um, I was over at Manchester a couple of weeks ago and fucking hell, what a dump. Sorry for t to go on the train, uh, but I didn't. I went in my Range Rover. went to the uh, that big shopping centre what's it called, I can't remember the name of the place now anyway that's free parking and then uh, we went into Manchester after that and I parked at NCP parking and I was only there about, what, four hours I got a bill of 28 quid <laughs> 28 quid to park your fucking car for four hours fuck that Talk about anti-car, it's getting like that now. So you guys, if you're after a classic car, especially your fucking labour getting, oh, the walk brigade, fucking hell, we're fucked. No matter these fucking, I hate the government, the government that's in now is fucking useless. The government that's going to get in, which will be fucking labour. Oh, God, I'm dreading it. They'll all be anti-car. Oh well, it's uh, it's global warming, and we've got to um, restrict the cars on the road and all this bullshit. Bullshit! It's all bullshit. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a rant now, aren't I? But fucking hell, this government couldn't run a fucking bath, and Labour couldn't pull the fucking plug out. I could sort this country out in a week. Fucking hell, it's not hard, is it? Maybe I should be Prime Minister. Imagine me turning up in the Triumph State. <laughs> uh, you can't get fuck all done. Uh, all the civil servants are all fucking pussies as well, aren't they? Jesus Christ. Pussies, a lot of them. This country's fucking weak. And we need to sort it out. So there's a, is that an Audi, is that an Audi TT with his top down? Maybe I should have put the top down today. Uh, I've got my window open, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but now we're in God's country. This is stunningly beautiful out here. The Yorkshire was beautiful. I'm gonna have to show you guys this, aren't I? Hey, you've got to see this. There you go, enjoy the view. Look at it, it's absolutely beautiful here. You know, there's only one car in front of me. It's just lovely here. This is how I like it. You can hear the engine burbling away. recommend if you are looking for a, a convertible car this is such a pretty little car as well um, it's a 
four-seater as well. You probably get if you've got a couple of grandkids in the back quite easily. Um, it's very comfortable. I fit my long, lanky legs in. Because the steering wheel is slightly tilted. Um, because there has been a few classic cars I've been trying to get into, and I cannot fit in them. I nearly bought a TR6 and I'm so glad I didn't know because I can't, I can't fit in the bloody thing. So this place is called Castleton. Beautiful North Yorkshire. God's country. And this is what you do when you're retired. Get yourself a nice classic car and go exploring. Well, everyone's at work.
side. Gotta check this little village out guys and girls. Seven thousand eight hundred and seventy one miles. I can quite believe that is a genuine mileage as well, just the way the car is put together feels. having a look at a few cars as you can see quite interested in this escort right we're just getting back from Matthews um, it's been a good day I've seen some really nice cars there a few I've got my eye on. Let's see how they go. So on that note, see you.